of the pulpit is to give God's viewpoint on the matter. To expose, to exposit God's perspective. Now we do it with love. We do it with care. But we do it with clarity. The expectations that people put on the pastors today and the pastors put on themselves are debilitating. They're really stressed out about what, what was going on. And I'm sure they wanted Jesus to be stressed out with them. And Jesus says, come away by yourselves to a secluded place and rest. You don't apologize when you preach on grace. You don't apologize when you preach on prayer because you know you're helping them in the same way. When we teach our people what God's Word says about money and tithing and giving, we're helping them. If we're not careful, not only do we become ministry-centered instead of marriage-centered, we become child-centered. And those two things, if we're not aware, will take us apart. It is his own focus on his sense of call that kept Jesus balanced. It's time for the church to do something new. Some are Baptist over here, and some are Methodist over here. Some are Pentecostals over here, and some are Independents over there. And there is enough to keep you separated. If we get the Word of God and the triune God coming in the midst of this mess, He can grab a Baptist, and He can grab a Methodist, He can grab a Pentecostal, and He can grab an Independent, and He can stir that thing together and guess what he's gonna spread on our ministry? The kingdom of God.